That sucked. I need to be able to, I need to like kill one before I, because three at once is, that was bad. Suck it. Oh no, it's like straight up like uh, you're in 1300s Bohemia. It's like the Czech Republic. What's going on there? Well now, look what's come crawling out under some rock. Hey, all of you, gather here. Come here, <laughs> Lily Liver. Ha! Draw your Stop sword. There's no way that guy's okay. <laughs> he just took an error from his own guy. <laughs> Call that combo. This guy sucks at shooting bows, so, so do I. There's no way he's feeling good. Oh. Yeah, no shit. Maybe yell for somebody. You hear a bunch of people fight and then it's quiet. Maybe yell. Thank you. My pleasure. Sir Divish sent me to find you. And it looks like I arrived just in time. God's truth. I'm Henry of Scalif. My name is Marius Bielek. Master locator. Sir Divish sent me here to survey the area. Well, the outlaws are out of the way. So we can go and report to him, right? Not just yet. Those bastards caught me as soon as I arrived. And so far, all I've seen is the inside of the tent they tied me up in. I still have a job to do. Although, I won't see much in the dark. I'll have to spend the night. Though I doubt I'll get a wink of sleep after what happened. Are you sure there are no more bandits around? You've nothing to worry about. Unless you're afraid of hares. Hmm. Well, come to me after dawn and we'll look the place over together. I'll explain everything to you. All right. 
Good night. Here I am. Excellent. We can start inspecting the area right away to see what we can I'll there. probably call you guys Shall tomorrow. Shall we get to it then? I'll escort you then. At least I can make sure you don't get caught again. What? Are there more of those bandits around? No, no. I, I just meant... Never mind. Should we get going? This is a good spot for the What part of One Piece are you on the rewatching? Every village must have one. It'll be nice and prominent here. It's on the hillside, so the foundations will stay dry. It can have its own little square, close to the church. I should just skip There's this no instead of having here. him talking. It is how long this is going to take. Whatever, get the full realistic experience. I have gotten a lot better at the game there, Revo. The church is still standing. I do be uh I do be killing some boys. Good. Whoever built it did a good job. Considering how old it is and what it's been through recently, it stood up well. It won't be an easy job to fix it, but it can be done. Timber alone won't do though. So I wonder, like, I mean, I guess I know they have, like, a university and stuff like that, but, like, what was the qualifier? Like, this guy's whole job, I mean, he's a land assessor, right? Like, we have that job today. But did this guy just, like, walk up to the, you know, the Lord and was just like, yo, trust me, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. And the guy was like, man, you, you got a cool white thing on your head. You do look like you know what you're talking about. Go do it. This guy's looking fresh. Hmm. We could fit at least one tradesman's shop here. Maybe a baker's? I'd have to say you're right. Them is some some nice pants. He's just something tells me like if you're like chilling out in the middle ages you probably want to dress like this guy this guy's like the peak of fashion look at that right through the brush she ain't afraid to get dirty stables that's what I want Road and stream. Hey. Hey yourself, buddy. Guy. This bridge needs reinforcement. It won't last long in this condition. I reckon it would make sense to build a weir over the stream down there. The water here is clean and can be used to supply the village until we sink a well. It's a good thing we have this stream. No point in building without a water source. Supplies and trade will flow Dude, for real. Hey man, that's clean, dog. That's clean. They don't have corpses in it, so.
I can't even see past the trees and ruins whether there's room for anything there. But at least the trees are strong and healthy. All we need is a few good woodcutters, and we won't have to bring in any timber from elsewhere. Right on. I mean, I really should have skipped this. Stone foundations. They'll come in handy, and we're close to the stream. here yeah very astute of you sir there is indeed space in this space Clean water, close to the village green. A good site for an inn. Sweet. That's that, then. The most essential surveying is done. Hmm. What do you think, buddy? God be with you. So, Master Locator, ready to start building? There's a long way to go before that. The few ruins that are left are basically beyond repair. It's all overgrown with brush. Oh dear. We'll have to get it all cleared before we can start rebuilding it. Better so go it talk to some lumberjacks. To everything. Yes, absolutely. Or woodsmen, woodcutters. Building the whole village is no small enterprise. Hmm. We'll need timber, lots of it. Which isn't a problem in the middle of the woods, of course. We'll have to hire wage labor to begin with. Quite a lot of men. Hmm. Hmm. I think we hmm. should get started without delay. There's a lot of work involved. I agree. It's well worth the this is fun. I can just imagine. Oh, bro, that might be a church will maybe dominate the whole settlement. Oh, that's good news. Good idea. When will you inform Sir Divis? My wait. I'll head to Townberg right away. But would you keep an eye on things here in the meantime? It would be rather embarrassing to run into more bandits when I return with Sir Divish. No problem. I'll be right here. It shouldn't take us long. My lord, welcome to Pribislavitz. That is to say, welcome back to Pribislavitz after all these years. Well, what's left of it? Not to worry, Marius. I'm glad to be back in my old hamlet. Although, it seems to have aged about as gracefully as I have over the years. You kidding, I Sir Divish? You don't look sir. a day over it's 35. It's quite dilapidated, unlike your good self. But at least it's safe now. Thanks in part to Henry here, who also saved me from a predicament that cost me valuable time. Who knows? If it hadn't been for him, we might not even be talking now. Well, lad, in the end, you managed things in your own way, I see. Just as you said you would. I did my best, sir. Um. He trusts me so much, I could literally just fucking lie to him. There was no reasoning with them. They thought since it was four to one, I'd be no trouble. 
I expect that was a fatal mistake. Just sorry, sir. <laughs> Let's just say no they loss. won't be making that At least mistake they won't again. Be troubling us again. Let's get down to the matter in hand, shall we? What state is Pribislavitz in? Sir, in my official capacity as locator, I am gratified to inform you that the hamlet of Pribislavitz may be renewed. And indeed, it offers prospects of considerable expansion <laughs> beyond its former limits. Splendid. Finally, some good news for this province. And badly needed, too. So, what have you discovered so far? I want to know all the details. We had a scout around. We conducted a basic survey, from which we can make a preliminary outline of the parcels. I already have in my head an initial plan of what can be built where. We should certainly have a church. I'd like to preserve the existing one. That should present no serious obstacles. The building is in much better condition than we anticipated. But extensive reconstruction will be required. That's to be expected. But there's a stream here, and a well right in the middle of the village. Yes, and there are abundant woods around. Clearing them will provide both extra land and timber supplies that we can use right away. Right now, I believe we're standing on the village green, aren't we? The future green, that is. The village centre will comprise at least six large buildings to begin with. We can't fit any more than that here. So there will be other buildings away from the square. In particular, more extensive structures. I'm glad to hear it. I never expected you'd find so much space here in the middle of the woods. The building work we're about to engage in is only the first part of my plan. Later, we'll clear more forests for agricultural land mm. and build more farmhouses. But for now, we'll have to focus on more sensible goals. As you wish, my lord. But rebuilding a whole village must cost a king's ransom, though. It's true it won't come cheap. Before the tradesmen settle here and start producing and trading, it will be necessary to invest a certain amount of capital. A certain amount? How much, exactly? I wouldn't venture to state a precise amount at this point. Tens of thousands? But I expect it will come to some thousands, even tens of thousands of Groschen. Well, that much? I hope you're good at haggling. We shall, of course, attempt to procure everything at the best possible price. But raising a settlement from the ashes you see around you is a costly business. Nevertheless, I can assure you, my lord, that if all goes well, the investment shall all come back to you with interest. I hope I shall live to enjoy it, Master Marius. Well, a village isn't a village without villagers. You'll need new subjects. Even preparing the ground for a building will need lots of labor. Where can we find so many people, sir? You sound skeptical, lad, but it's a good question. I've already given it some thought. I've agreed with Radzik and Hanish that we shall make an announcement in Rate to invite people to move mm. here and help with the construction. Be a good place for the refugees to go. Them many benefits, but also obligations. In addition, I expect the prospects of a new home will appeal to your former Scalitz neighbors more than a makeshift camp by the castle walls. They'll be delighted, sir. A splendid solution, sir. I've also been concerned about how to bring settlers here. But now it seems there will be no shortage of new inhabitants after all. It seems things are finally looking up. We routed the bandits in battle, and Henry took care of the remnants. When can we get to work? Right away, as far as I'm concerned. All we need is people and the necessary funds. And we'll need someone to keep order, Ian, at least in the silly interview. boy, what are you True. doing up? I'll leave you some of my men. If I may, I would recommend quickly appointing a bailiff. To take responsibility mm. for the renewal of the village, its coffers, and its citizens. True. Hmm. First things first. <laughs> Since you understand this matter best, you shall take charge of the land parceling and building works. You'll be available to the bailiff, but answerable directly to me. I'd be honored, sir. Thank you. And, as regards the office of bailiff, what about you, Henry? Oh. Yes, sir. You've proven yourself well. You've demonstrated that you're capable of solving problems, and you command the respect of your former Scalitz neighbors. Well, I'm not so sure. 
And you're also capable of maintaining law and order. I can I'm move some ass. That. So, let us expedite matters. Henry, I hereby appoint you to the office of bailiff of the hamlet of Pribislavitz in my domain. My lord, it's a great honor. Thank you. You will oversee the initial renewal and administration of the village that will set the ground for further development. <laughs> but don't imagine it'll be a bed of roses, lad. Being bailiff doesn't mean you can do whatever you like. If you don't treat the settlers rightly, I'll soon find out and relieve you of your office. Besides, we can't spare a single groschen from the Talmberg coffers now. Of course, so I'll have to pay it. I'll have to foot so, the bill. you'll have to cover the cost for the building work from your own purse. Me? But Marius said it would cost a fortune. True. But from what I hear, you know how to get your hands on coin enough. So, I expect you'll manage it just fine. <laughs> I'd like to know who's been spreading such gossip. And I am assigning you certain specific tasks. You must ensure the rebuilding of the church. That means complete reconstruction, wall paintings, and a new altar. See to it that in the future, the village will be capable of supporting a certain number of people. For that, you will need to ensure the construction of essential artisans' buildings. And ultimately, the village must produce sufficient earnings to fund further expansion. But, hmm. sir, I've never done... I understand your concerns, but you'll be handsomely rewarded. I shall grant you the proceeds from the whole village for the first five years. <laughs> the and you first. have my permission to use the surrounding woods and <laughs> The land first satanic church in Czech well, Republic. Um, Let's go. Are you sure I'm the right man for the job, sir? It's a lot of responsibility. As you said yourself, Henry, it's a great honor. Besides, you won't be alone in it. I'll assist you and supervise the construction work. I'm sure they would love it. They'll welcome right, me with open arms. So, we're agreed. You'll give this document to the Rite Bailiff. He'll make the announcement to invite settlers. You got bailiffs, we Mace. enough people to begin work. At the same time, your official appointment as bailiff will be announced. I don't know what to say, sir. I'm sure you won't disappoint me, Henry. And now I must get back to my duties at Townburg. Send I feel bad because I definitely banged that dude's wife. Certainly, sir. Have a safe journey. Farewell, sir. <laughs> Henry's a dog. Henry's a dog. Got that dog in him. He's that guy. Uh oh. Yeah, I'll fucking show you, he says. Boy, you fucking want some? Oh, he dismounted me. That was easy for him. What do you got for me? Men see a group of armed men on the road. They don't look friendly, but they haven't noticed you yet. We're always looking for that XP. Oh, right in his fucking face. Let's go. Witness me. Yeah. Got a little spear boy. Oh, I got him right in his fucking heart, dude. Not a good thing because that was my last arrow, too.
I hope that worked. By the way. So, did it work? Is your home free of the ghost? Oh, you're here, are you? You're lucky I didn't have to get you myself. No, it didn't work. The spirit came just the same as before, and I didn't sleep a wink. So you're saying I won't get my reward? You get paid for results, my dear, and I haven't seen any yet. At least now I know that old wives' law doesn't help. Go and see Apothecary Koniash in Ratai. I hear he's familiar with all manner of magic. Is he? Fine. I'll go and see the apothecary. Hopefully we'll come up with something that works. But it's because my level's low, I think, so... I have a document for you from Sir Divish. It concerns the renewal of Pribislavitz. The village you drove and those the bandits out of. the pickpocking is interesting. So it's true, then. Good. Good. Let me see that document, then. Here it is. So what have we here? Hmm. 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 It says I should announce that anyone interested may move to Pribislavitz to live and work. And Sir Radzig and Sir Hanush also give their consent. Hmm. In that case, let's not waste any time. Come along with me. Goodbye. Evil spirits at bay. Right, I bet it's some yeah. Yep, announced to all three of them. hereby announced in the name of Sir Hanush and Sir Divish that you, the citizens of Ratai, as well as those who have found temporary refuge here, are permitted to move to the hamlet of Pribislavitz to the north of Tomberg Castle, wherein you shall be vouchsafed a new life and new dwellings, providing that you shall contribute to the renewal of the hamlet. All those who choose to accept this offer shall be exempted from payment of taxes for a period of five years. They shall be permitted also to make use of timber from the surrounding woods and water from the streams. The hamlet of Pribislavitz lies in the domain of Sir Divish of Talmberg, and all who settle there shall be duty-bound to him. It is furthermore hereby announced that Henry of Skalitz is appointed to the administration of Pribislavitz and the office of bailiff therein, which office and privilege have been conferred upon him by Sir Divish for loyalty and services rendered. I would therefore recommend that our Skalitz friends consider this offer very seriously, as nothing better is likely to come your way anytime soon. There's also like a storyline to do like to court Teresa. Henry, I'm so glad to see you. She like you. She likes you a lot. Matthew and Fritz and their regards. They survived. My God, I'm glad. They helped me out a lot. And where did you see them? In Sassau. I bumped into them in front of the tavern. Where else? And how are they doing? They're doing fine. The monks brought them back to health, but they don't have work and they're in debt. You wouldn't happen to know of any jobs going for two lazy carpenters. Not here. And I think it will be the same in all of Ratai. It's overcrowded with refugees and they're all looking for work. Oh, that's bad. Those two need work badly to keep them out of mischief. You know what they're like. I do indeed. Try the mills in the smaller hamlets. The miller in the Dechko is old. Maybe he could use some strong hands. I will. Thanks. Hmm. Teresa, I brought you something. My, my, how. 
How chivalrous. That's lovely. Thank you so much. Dude, you can't pet the dog. It's really upsetting. I brought you something. Where did I bring her? Oh. Um, I must have dropped it somewhere. Probably wasn't the best idea anyway. Oh, she's so sweet. What's that dog you have here? He looks familiar. Don't you remember him? It's Mart. The butcher's dog from Scalitz. Ah, of course. When I went back to bury my parents, he was guarding his master's dead body. A faithful dog. How come he's here? When we carted you here, we took Mutt along too. He's been hanging around the mill ever since. What does the miller have to say about it? He can't stand him. How's that? Every time he sees him, he starts shouting that he's a useless mouth to feed and that'll skin him. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> and it didn't even soften his heart when Mutt brought a hare from the woods. He was happy to eat it, but it didn't change his mind. I could have a word with him. Oh. That would be a waste of time. How's he doing? A lot better now. I slipped him something good now and again when Uncle wasn't looking. He won't starve to death, then. Does he obey you? Me? <laughs> not much. He's got a mind of his own, and I'm just not strict enough. Ah, spoiled, then. No, he just hasn't learned many commands. But he's well able to beg for a piece of meat. How long has he been with you? More or less since we came here. He runs off now and again, but he always comes back. Sometimes I don't see him all day. I think he likes to go wandering. So he's doing quite well, then? Yeah. I'd keep him, but... He reminds me too much of Tinker, you know? I don't want to think about Scalit. So... I thought maybe you might take him with you? Me? Where would I take him? I'm sure the two of you would get on great. He's a handsome fella and lovable. I'd be very happy if you had him. But we never had a dog at the smithy. We never needed one. Come on. He's got no one. What do I do with the dog? Yeah, uh, I'll right. take him. Fuck. I'll take him. He's a good boy. He can keep me company on my travels. Right, to feed him. Go and get him then. He's sniffing around somewhere here. Wasn't expecting to get a doggo. Hey, Mutt. Remember good me. boy. That's a good boy. Hey, lad. Miss Galix. Don't Remember? you want a little wager on the rotate tourney? You want to go with me? Come on then. We'll get on like a house. <laughs> yeah, right. They're just so great. Follow me. God Almighty has some. Teresa, the millmaid. Some extra pairs of hands would be useful. What do you have in mind? My friends, uh, two survivors of Scar. And why should I take them? They're experienced carpenters. Oh, why not? Carpenters would be helpful. That's good, man. There's a lot of work here at the mill, and I'm not as spry as I used to be. Thomas, my foreman, tries his best, but he ain't up to that kind of work. But they aren't idlers and drunks, are they? I, I live in a, uh, just like really a studio. Hard, it's affordable. Work. But being single and uh, just having the cat, it's kind of perfect. I'm from Scalitz, and I know them both personally. They worked in the royal mines, and their master couldn't praise them highly enough. In the Scalitz mines? That's skillful work. I'll be glad to talk to them. Tell them I'll give them a chance. We'll talk about pay and a roof over their heads when they get here. Welcome, Henry. Hey, I've got this thing going in Pribis Labbits, and there's plenty of problems, and, um... Well, also, you can't invite him there. Sorry, Henry, old pal, but I'm up to my ears on my own problems. Maybe another time. 
when things get settled. All right, fuck you guys. The Miller and Ledechko would be happy to meet you. You really found work for us? Of course. I couldn't bear to look at those sour faces of yours a moment longer. Thanks, Henry. Only... <sighs> what? The reward we talked about, well, we haven't got two Groshen to rub together. Yeah, that doesn't matter. You'll pay me when you have it. That we will. Stop by and visit us in a week. We'll pay you back as soon as we get our first wage. I'd like you to teach... Certainly. I'd like to practice... All right. Now, take care. Jesus, what... I'd like you to teach me how... Certainly. I'm interested... Wouldn't you rather... Well... Good luck, then. Hey! I need a help. Barely, they. Well... I want to get better at... Soon. I'd like to pra... Oh! Now... Good luck. Good health to you. I want to get... Sir. I'm interested in more... Wouldn't you rather learn... Well... The mono... Leave it be... I won't. What ha... We... Uh, but don't get involved in... Wait, who exactly did you... Well, he can... Uh, in a nutshell, it was his fault, mm. and we're not going to talk about it anymore. But couldn't there be a way to settle it? Maybe he'd let you off the... There isn't. Well, don't be a twat, Fritz. The two of you are up to your necks in shit, and you're going to play tough instead of seeing sense. Go to hell, Henry. You and Elias. You're one as bad as the other. If you say so, I'll leave it be.